check out just a sliver of the fun we're going to experience today at this unique Vermont attraction. This is one of many different activities on the shores of Lake Champlain that you should take the time to explore. Hello everyone! Here we are at the Echo Science and Museum Center. Today we're going to go check out what they have for the kids and see what fun we can unearth. It is by the beautiful Lake Champlain here in Burlington, Vermont. Be sure to stick around because at the end of this video I'm going to give you my top three reasons for visiting this amazing location. And if you could hit that like and subscribe button it would mean the world to me. Established in 2003, the Echo Leahy Center for Lake Champlain is a great spot to bring kids of all ages. As soon as you step through the doors, you're offered with an affordable, nostalgic souvenir option in the form of pressed pennies. The ticket and admission booth is located just steps away, where you'll also have access to the gift shop, which you can hit up before or after your visit. The local legend, Champ, hangs out to greet each passerby. So right off the bat, we got checked in and make sure you get your list of what's going on. Also, very cool, they have a scavenger hunt. And if you complete this and submit it up at the engineer at station on the upper floor, you'll be entered to win a gift certificate for Echo, which is really a pretty cool little feature. Off on the side is your first taste of some of the aquariums you'll get to view inside of the lake exhibit. Gemma was intimidated to start. Some of the fish in here were huge, but nothing in here compared to some of the beasts that are to come. We all loved admiring the frog exhibits upon entry. Not only were there plenty of variety in colors, they were super active. Your first taste of what this incredible location has to offer is after you step down the hall from admission. This central location branches off into a variety of different exhibits and types of experiences. Our kids were in awe of the enormous spinning globe hanging overhead. If you cut a left, you'll enter the lake exhibit. In here, you'll find all kinds of historic and scientific displays. One of my personal favorites in this exhibit is what happens with the mussels. You can see what happens to a bike after just three months, a year, and then two years after it's been sitting in Lake Champlain. But we spend most of our time just watching the busy fish swim around. The kids thought them comical and we enjoyed studying and identifying the various types in the display case. The freshwater drum, the muskies, and of course the comical looking catfish and the mammoth lake sturgeon. These enormous bottom feeders elicited many reactions from all of the kids, not just mine. They were all pretty incredible, but my personal favorite was the Eastern Snapping Turtle. He was huge, and he seemed to have a punchy personality. He was busy swimming around while we hung out. When we came back through, he was resting in the back, so I'm glad we got to see him early on with his burst of energy. Another highlight of the lake room is the exhibit dedicated solely to Champ the legend of Lake Champlain. Over the years, he's become the lake's famous mascot, shrouded in mystery and interest. Just next door to the lake room is a showroom. The shows put on here are interactive and fun for the kids. You'll be entertained start to finish, and don't you worry, because even if you get a seat in the back, they have up-close cameras displaying live time what's going on down in the experiment location. This show kept our kids on the edge of their seat, guessing what would happen with each experiment performed. There are a couple of ways to access upstairs, one of them being the back through the lake room. We loved seeing the globe from up top and peering down into the entranceway. The open concept of the center was refreshing. There are yet more animal exhibits upstairs, showing a variety of turtles, reptiles, and amphibians. Each and every one hung right by the glass, seeming to enjoy the admiration from each of the kiddos. Further on, we discovered Champ Lane a dedicated space for the younger children with a plethora of hands-on learning activities and play sets. There are so many setups in here. Here we found sorting activities while playing market, but my kids were drawn instantly to the puppet theater. It was beautifully designed to match a hollowed out tree. The woodland puppets available perfectly paired, and it was a charming display. 
tons of hands-on exhibits, which are great for my kids who like to touch everything. The water station was a popular space teeming with toddlers and kiddos, experiencing gravity firsthand in a wet way. For additional purchase, you can get tickets to their 3D theater for various shows that are played all throughout the day. I tried to get Zan to give this experiment a go, but he wouldn't bite. Jem, though, was a good sport and thought it was pretty funny and unexpected. To do the experiment correctly, though, aim your cannon at the hanging paper sculptures and see them swing. Definitely take the time to check out the Foggy Harbor exhibit because this one is gonna keep them busy for a while. Here you can try to use the angles to your advantage by guiding the laser to its destination point through the fog. Or watch water freeze in real time with the freezing water exhibit. The tornado vortex was high on my list and didn't get enough attention from the kids in my opinion. I could have spent way more time in this spot. At Shaping Watersheds, you can create your own waterscape and observe the effects of the virtual rain. Experience firsthand the science of sailing and how wind moves your wheeled sail ship. While you're here, be sure to check out the observation deck and you can check out the lake, which is a gorgeous view. Though it's particularly gloomy out today, it's still quite a sight. The fog rolling in over the lake is reminiscent of our Foggy Harbor exhibit. There are no shortages of lake-specific details, history, and maps. If your kids are misbehaving, put them to work. Just take some good teamwork, team building skills, and it keeps them busy. They just keep doing it over and over. They're going to be so tired tonight. <laughs> We did spend a significant amount of time here. There are various difficulty levels, which all had to be done multiple times by each kid. At one of the activity stations, the kids were invited to try their hand at creating a flying object and see how well it sails against the wind gusts. We've made it to the engineer at station. And if you remember to complete your scavenger hunt, this is where you turn in your completed entry. The kids get assistance with fun learning experiments in here, an endless supply of patience from the friendly staff, and unlimited time to create the perfect prototype. We came during Highlight on Space, so the kids' ultimate goal was to create a safe landing pad for a moon supply drop-off using a wooden egg as cargo. To successfully land your cargo, you've got to keep it in your prototype and prevent it from breaking apart. After a few attempts, Jacoby was successful, though the little ones lost interest. It was definitely geared towards the slightly older crowd, and I loved that they had this. Just past the engineer at station is the pet care facility. You can peer in and see all of the staff hard at work maintaining the animals' everyday comfort and health care needs. Back downstairs is the special exhibit. This is on a rotation and changes frequently. During our visit, Curious George was making an appearance. While this is only going until May 14th, you can expect to see a new highlight starting on May 27th through September 4th called XOXO, which is an exhibit about love and forgiveness. Use the rope pulleys to assist George, who's busy cleaning windows. Create shadow shapes and experiment with how you can alter shadows. Blast off with George as he takes off into space and end your journey with a trip down the slide. Help him sort and load packages. Use the air cannon to affect an array of wind spinners. Grab your mail and wait for your turn on the elevator. Play with silhouettes. Learn all about the husband and wife team who created the Curious George stories. See their story told through pictures. And of course, grab a snapshot with George before you go, because who doesn't love a rascally monkey friend? There are plenty of Vermont, Echo Center, or Champ-specific souvenirs in the gift shop entrance exit area. From hats to t-shirts for both kids and adults, magnets, cups, and mugs, 
science experiments and play sets galore. And my personal favorite out of it all, the collaboration with Vermont Teddy Bear for the perfect rendition of a super soft Aqua Champ plush. So we are sitting outside of the Museum and Science Center. It was such a fun, interactive family experience that I would absolutely highly recommend any of you to come do. It's something that you can make a complete day of because there's so much to experience. There's so many shows. There's so many hands-on exhibits. And as a homeschooled child, I loved it. It brought me back to my, my childhood days. That's how I learned growing up, is coming to different places like this and experiencing it firsthand. Number one reason I absolutely love this place is the hands-on learning experience. It's great knowledge that the kids can soak in slowly as they're experiencing it for themselves. So definitely a great educational and fun thing to do. Two is the variety. There's such a variety in there from all of the turtles and the small animals to the playground area, the water station, the lake experience, which I really thought was pretty amazing. The experiment center that the kids really loved. We spent way too much time there and it took many, many attempts, but we had one successful child and he's very proud of himself for it. Show me. <laughs> he won't do it now, but he was totally just dancing off camera. There was a ton of different shows and different showings that you could get to, which was awesome. And really number three, Another great reason is the staff was all super knowledgeable and so friendly and interactive with the kids. I feel like as a Disney groupie, I base all of my staff experiences off of Disney's cast member experiences myself there and it was top notch here. Everybody was so good with the kids. So I, I think that's probably gonna wrap it up for us today. Like I said, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on our family adventures. Take care and be sure to stay tuned because we will be back soon with more fun and tours and tips and tricks and all that good stuff. And of course, a very special shout out to Nicole and thank you for the tickets and inviting us to come and vlog our experience here.